may be a holiday week, but negotiations are expected to intensify over possible landmark, landmark gun legislation nationwide following the mass shootings in Texas, California, and New York. Joe St. George takes a look at why this week's critical for the debate and why those opposed to new gun laws are actually optimistic the Supreme Court could soon make it harder to pass restrictions. When I drive around this country, I really feel just how divided we are. Democrats are saying one thing on guns. When in God's name are we going to stand up to the gun lobby? Republicans another. It's not effective. It doesn't prevent crime. But after years of inaction and division on this issue, there really is this growing sense that something might soon change, either in Congress or at the Supreme Court. The catch? That change may be not what you're exactly thinking about. This may be a moment when there's enough momentum. Robin Thomas is executive director of the Giffords Law Center to prevent gun violence, one of the nation's leading voices on the issue. He says for the moment, it appears there is a genuine effort happening in Congress to pass something. One possible compromise is emerging around a nationwide red flag law, which would allow guns to be seized by law enforcement if an individual is deemed a threat. Already 19 states have their own version of the law in the books. Republican Senator Rick Scott of Florida signed a version of it into law in Florida when he was governor, fueling optimism. This week, even though the Senate is not in Washington, is believed to be a critical one for negotiations. One of the difficulties of this work in these situations is that it is in the immediate aftermath of these tragic events that people are paying attention. But remember when I told you this country is divided? Put this back up. And that's why I stopped by one of the leading gun instructors in Northern California for perspective. So this is a Springfield. This is a Winchester 3030. This is just a model 1911, okay? And that's where I met Harold Johnson. He lives in a state where there is already a red flag law. A new nationwide one doesn't upset him as much, but what does bother him are calls to ban AR-15s like the one he's holding. Harold, a lot of people watching this will say that gun is responsible for a lot of deaths. It's the person who did did it. Any anybody can go into a school without this rifle, and they can use a handgun. They can come in with a dagger. Harold, like many gun-owning Americans who don't want new laws, is actually hoping more guns might be allowed for protection soon on American streets. He's waiting on a Supreme Court ruling this month that could force cities in states like New York and California to issue more concealed carry permits. In those states, you have to show a need for one right now, and local governments often deny those requests. Last fall, San Francisco had just two active concealed carry permits in the entire city. I'm Joe St. George reporting.